You have got to be kidding me! Stupid wumpin' puzzle box. This thing is harder to open than... Well, I don't know, something hard to open. I'm too frustrated to think of an analogy. Think, Spyro, think. If you were a box, how would you open yourself? Maybe I'd be able to think like an inanimate object if there wasn't so much noise around here! Uh, hey, bud. Problem? I am in serious trouble, pal. I have this research paper on the Wumpa Islands due for my graduate class in half an hour. And I missed some of the lecture. What am I gonna do? If only Crash Bandicoot were still here in the Skylands. What's Crash got to do with this? He lives in the Wumpa Islands. He's the perfect expert to ask. But he's all the way in another dimension, typical. Wumpin Puzzle Box plus Crash Bandicoot multiplied by a shortcut equals an open puzzle box. Man, I am really good at math. Uh, maybe we don't need to travel to another dimension to talk to Crash. Maybe we just need to travel to another time. Huh? Crash accidentally ended up in the Skylands with us before, right? When he helped us keep Cassandra's spellbook from falling into the wrong hands. So, we just time travel back to that moment, and then we can pick his brain about anything. Research papers, puzzle boxes, etc. How are we supposed to time travel? Doesn't Jetvac have a time disruptor in his armory? Huh? It's the highest rated time travel device on the market. Yeah, I don't know, Spyro. This sounds kind of like cheating, and Skylanders don't cheat. No, they don't. But they do cut corners. Or, at the very least, file them down a little bit. I guess. I mean, what could go wrong with time travel? Ooh. Oh, we got the Are you sure we should be in here when Jetvac is out? No, this is crossing a serious personal boundary, but it's time travel, buddy. We can arrive back here before we ever left here, so it will appear like we never even were here. Yeah. Well, there it is. The Time Disruptor. That's it? Yeah, pretty cool, right? It's no flying DeLorean, but I guess it'll do. How does it work? It's all rather complicated. You hit this button here, and? No, that's it. Guess it's actually pretty simple. All right, Spyro, brace yourself. <laughs> did, did it work? Well, since Dr. Cortex mutated me, pretty much all of my abilities and senses are enhanced. Considering we're both there and here, uh, yeah, I'd say it worked. Don't you know what this means, buddy? It means we've gone back to the past. That sounds wrong. Yeah, I'll keep working on it. Okay, let's do this as quickly as possible. And then we get home ASAP, because the longer we stay here, the higher the risk we might accidentally change the past. And that's bad? Yes. Haven't you ever heard of the butterfly effect? See, time is like a straight line, and that line has a dot on it. And that dot is you and me. And crash is a triangle, and then uh, you preheat the oven to 350, add the basil wheat. No, 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 that's my recipe for chicken cacciatore. Uh, time is like a hollow cube. Yeah, 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 I get it. No changing the past. We'll just, we'll get what I, um, you need, and we'll go straight home. Hey! All right, who's the drongo trying to get one over an old crash, eh? Hey, hang on a minute. Weren't you just over there a second ago? You see, time is like a ripe melon. Ugh. Oh my gosh, no. Eruptor, me, future. Need help. You, Eruptor's research. All caught up? Read you loud and clear, mate. Wow, the future, eh? How'd you get here? It's called a time disruptor. Oh, cool. That thing's ridgy ditch. My sister Coco would be so jealous. Yeah, she's way into that science uh, stuff, you know. Can I see it? Sure, but just be really careful with it, please. Oh no, 
I left my mark on the past. What if crushing this one flower leads to a bee not having a place to land, which leads to a chain of events that ends with the, the sun exploding? That's a pretty big leap. So crash! Mate, <laughs> while we've got a second here, what do you know about Wumpin' Puzzle Boxes? So this could really take me back to the dawn of time? Or the very end of existence? Oh, most amazing of all, three seconds from now? What happens in three seconds? This! I see. Oh, yeah. There, fixed. Woo Whoa! That crazy kangaroo sent us home before we got any info out of him. I, I knew this was a bad idea. I just hope in all the time we spent in the past, we didn't make too many changes. Too many changes to what? Oh, oh no! You're not supposed to be here. Do you have any idea what could happen now that we've changed the past? Dude, look around you. We're totally fine. Yeah, mate, don't sweat it. Plus, now I can see the future. It's not that far in the future, so don't expect any major differences. Oh, boy. Dude, who turned the lights off on the Skylands? We did. By pulling Crash out of his timeline, we created an alternate dark future. This is the butterfly effect I was talking about. Butterflies did this? I've always hated those mangy little pests. Okay, so your little theory was right. How do we fix it? We have to open another wormhole and send Crash back to his timeline. Then it'll be like nothing ever happened. Extreme second wormhole! All right, gents. Time to send me back to the before this time. I think that's even worse than yours. Okay, let's do this. Yeah, that was not extreme. Dead batteries? Seriously? Crikey, mate. Your time disruptors run out of juice faster than my cell phone. Or my juicer, for that matter. It's okay. We just need to find the Skylanders that exist in this timeline. They'll be able to help us. <laughs> hey, uh, excuse me. Hey? Uh, we need to find the Skylanders. Any idea where they are? Skylanders, you say? Hmm. Don't know if there's any Skylanders around these parts anymore. They were defeated, you see. Was it chaos? Tain't no chaos round here, son. This is Glumshank's land. Glumshank's? Where hope is vanquished and all your dreams are nightmares. Have a great day now, boys. for the greatest ruler who ever lived, King Glumshanks. King. Hmm, does that sound right? Which do you prefer, king or emperor? Oh, I, I prefer whichever one you prefer, sire. Ah, if only my subjects knew all the stressful decisions I have to make on their behalf. Ah, excellent, the royal feast. Now, where is my official food taster? There, Your Majesty! I swear, it's impossible to find good servants these days. Eh, probably because I make them walk over hot coals. How may I serve you, Master? Make sure none of my loving subjects messed with my food. <coughs> so, how do you feel? Perhaps on, on the verge of becoming violently ill? I feel fine. You mean none of it was poisoned? In fact, that was the best meal I've had in months. Ah, oh, well, that's disappointing. In that case, entertain me. <clears throat> now, do that thing you do, where you make a fool of yourself while I throw things at you. You know, if it's entertainment, your majesty, see? Oh, 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 uh, then perhaps you'd prefer a look at your collection? <clears throat> Good thinking, Lackey. <sighs> Look at that, sir. All of the Skylanders captured and frozen by your dark magic powers. But without Spyro and Eruptor, my collection remains incomplete. So I'll never truly be happy. Kel Domage. Enough already with the juggling! Don't worry. 
We'll catch Spyro and Eruptor one day, your glumminess. Perhaps if we return to the Academy and search the ruins... No, that's a terrible idea. And you know those are my least favorite kinds of ideas. Now give me 20. <laughs> one. <laughs> Two. On second thought, I've changed my mind on the whole juggling Three. thing. Keep going, and faster. Ah. Welcome to another edition of March of the Skylands. Tonight's story, the swift and powerful rise of our trusted leader, King Glumshanks. As a budding troll servant, Glumshanks was maligned and mistreated for years. Here he is getting pastries stuffed in his ears. Ouch, that's gotta hurt. But during a showdown with those pesky Skylanders over Cassandra's evil spellbook, Glumshanks was able to grab the book for himself. Atta boy. Powered by the evil magic from within the book, Glumshanks took vengeance upon everyone who ever did him wrong, and in a rousing finish, crowned himself King of the Skylands. Stay tuned for tomorrow's story, the rise of swing and bebop music in today's youth. This is all our fault. This alternate universe is what you helped us prevent from occurring, but since we took you away from there, the Skylanders failed. Great. So now we're stuck in this nightmare version of the Skylands. No academy, no sunlight, and with the way our luck's been going, I'm guessing no vending machines. No, there's one right there. Oh, sweet. Ah! I hate this place! Wait a minute. There's another time disruptor in Glumshake's castle. If we can sneak in and grab it, then we can send Crash back to his mission with the Skylanders and fix the timeline. Awesome! Let's do it! Time to send you back to before we made a bunch of mistakes. That's closer, right? Mother, I'm home. My sweet little boy, how was work today? Oh. Fine. Now I can tell when there's something wrong with my chaos. What's on your mind? It's just... Gee, Mom, do you ever think about what the world would be like if we were in charge? Oh, do I ever, sweetie. No pop song laden happy dream montages. Aww. <sighs> it's so hard being the only good people in a world full of evil. I know. If I could just figure out a way to overthrow Glumshanks, then we could restore happiness to everyone in the Skylands. But with the Skylanders gone, what chance do we have? Cleaning duty, second shift. I'll we'll all think of something. I know you will, honey. You're always full of reasonable, level-headed ideas. They've got troll guards surrounding the castle. I'm going to go scout around the side. So, hey, Crash, quick question. As one who hails from the Wumpa Islands, I'm guessing you've heard of these Wumpin puzzle boxes? Wait a minute. Are you talking about Wumpin puzzle boxes? Yes! Wumpin puzzle boxes? Yes, yes! Wumpin puzzle boxes? Yes, yes, yes! Never heard of them. <sighs> the guards are in the middle of changing shifts. Time for a Ruptor to go get that Disruptor. <laughs> I've been working on that one all day. Extreme save! Man, the statues in this timeline are super realistic. I'm not a statue! Ah, in that case... Extreme panic! Eruptor, weird-looking Spyro. I've been looking for you two for as long as I can remember. Chaos, before you do anything, Rash, I just want to say... <clears throat> what? Boy, am I glad to see you. This is the best day of my life. Um, what happened to the I will destroy you at any cost chaos? I have no idea, but I think I like this one better. So, how do you want to do this? You take Glumshanks down, or should we overthrow Glumshanks together? L like more of a, a group thing? Huh? Actually, we're just here to grab the time disruptor out of the throne room so we can get home. Oh, but I thought you came to help me overthrow Glumshanks. 
Ooh, catch this, mate. If you can help us get back home, then it will be as if this whole version of events never took place and Glumshanks never took power. Now, did I get that right? Better than I could have said Very it. Very succinct. That's good enough for me. Now let's get you that disruptor. First, the key. Wait, that's a Wumpin' Puzzle Box. How'd you get that to open? Wumpin' Puzzle Boxes open automatically if you're true of heart. Everyone knows that. Psst, Spyro, if you're still interested, I figured out how to open a Wumpin' Puzzle Box. Use only in case of time travel related emergencies? How many time travel related emergencies do you get here? It happens more often than you think. Now, go do your tiny whiny business and stop all of this. Trust me, nothing would please me more than to get the heck out of this topsy-turvy timeline of yours. What's behind here? <gasps> oh no, it can't be. Master Eon, Chutvac, Alfie, Pop! Okay, look, I don't want to make the same mistake twice. Are they statues? We can't just leave them here like this. It'll be fine. Once we bring Crash back, everything in this world will just... Poof, disappear. But what if it doesn't? What if we created a splinter timeline? You see, time is like a river. Oh, here we what go. What I'm saying is that even if we send Crash back, this timeline, Skylanders, might still be trapped. Who cares about this timeline? It's not our timeline. But Skylanders help people, period. Especially each other. I'm done cutting corners. We're not going anywhere. <sighs> now let's defeat Glumshanks. I believe you mean King Glumshanks. Or Emperor, I'm still workshopping it. King Glumshanks, thank the gods you're here. When I saw these intruders, I knew I had to stall them until you could arrive and apprehend them. I guess it's the same old chaos after all. You've done well, chaos. There'll be an extra bale of straw for you to sleep on tonight. Oh, thank you, sire. And now my collection will be complete. <laughs> I'll finally have the last two Skylanders. <laughs> and whatever that thing is. Bandicoot. Gesundheit. Now, time to join your friends. Ah! Ah! Can't move. Oh, extreme pain. Not cool. No more. Dare inflict pain on your leader? I specifically wrote a law forbidding that. Oh, I dare. Uh. Uh. Ah. Ta -ta. ah, my collection. Ah. 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 Oh, we gotta help him. Sure, once the feeling returns to my vital organs. All right, step aside, gents. I think it's time to give this timeline an extreme makeover! Don't hurt me. I didn't mean any harm. Well, that's not true. I meant plenty of it. But please, please, I'll do anything. Anything? Let's start with, oh, I don't know, 20. <sighs> yes, sir. Oh, one. Ah, two. Oh, three. Thanks for saving us. With Glumshanks locked away, we can all finally begin to rebuild. And Mother and I can rule over the Skylands with kindness and justice and peace. <laughs> it may be because I'm still thawing out, but I'm rather confused. So you and weird-looking Spyro are not our trusted comrades? No, we are. And we're not. Uh, we're, we're from a different timeline. Your Eruptor and Spyro are still here somewhere. But then why? It's uh, called a paradox. You see, time is like a... Ugh, ugh. Now I'm talking like that. Look, he's not going to get it. Can we just go now? Well, no matter what timeline you come from, it's good to know my best friends always have my back. <laughs> yeah. Best friend of the year here. <laughs> 
this one's for you. It should be like you never left. Well, what can I say, mates? Oh, that wasn't rhetorical. I was, I was looking for suggestions there. And on that note... Ready? Uh... <laughs> Wait, so who were they again? Do you think it worked? Well, only one way to find out. <laughs> Yes! We're home! We made it! Back to the future! Still sounds funky. Not quite there yet. Oh, cripes! Oh, I completely forgot to ask Crash about my research paper. Oh, I'm totally going to flunk. Well, that's what happens when you try to cut corners, pal. This is it. Everything I've been waiting for. Be true of heart. What the heck? Stupid true of heartness. Ah! Who knew being evil was going to be so inconvenient? Together now. Together, together. Together now. Hey, yeah, we should come.